Hey everybody, thanks for joining. This is Heather and this is my channel, Fierce Fit Keto. Um, this is my channel about my journey to lose a whopping 50 pounds in 12 months. This is going to be my second update. I'm going to call this week two, even though technically speaking, it's about week three for me. So if you're interested in hearing more about how I've been doing, just keep watching. All right, thanks for sticking around. Uh, so, uh, my results have been fantastic. Uh, I'm down about 15 pounds in that three weeks. I weighed in at uh, this morning and uh, I feel great. Uh, last week was an entire week of alternate day fasting. So it was my first week and I'm gonna continue with that for my entire month. And if you haven't watched them, check out my goal setting videos, my law of attraction videos. I'll link them in the cards so that you know why I set up that 30 day goal to do alternate day fasting uh, three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, to just really kickstart my fat burning, my autophagy, to get rid of a lot of bloat. And it's working, folks. Uh, I'm doing great. Uh, so uh, that's my update. But the nitty gritty of it is the alternate fasting kicked my bleep. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are also the days that I worked out. So I set a goal to work out and do strength training fasted on my fasting day. That first day, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> um, I was super tired. Do you ever have that feeling behind your eyes where you just can't even keep your eyes open? Well, that first night of fasting, uh, where I hadn't eaten all day and then I was going to eat in the morning the following day. So that would have been last Tuesday. And I think I recorded a video. I'll link that in the cards also. I was extremely tired. Uh, I was up almost all night just going to the bathroom over and over and over. And I was starving. <laughs> so it was a rough, rough night. And then I did uh, I did a HIIT workout that day too. So it was, it was just rough. So... Um, so, uh, but in the overnight process, I lost two, two and a half pounds overnight, but folks, I understand it's just water and that's part of the goal. Inflammation equals water, uh, water and swelling and that kind of thing. So, uh, what I've noticed right away is, uh, while I have makeup on, my skin feels amazing, like baby butter smooth. But also, I've been taking better care of myself. Uh, I've been doing those self-care days. I've been, you know, exfoliating. I've been doing dry brushing. I've been taking my supplements every day. I've been drinking water. Uh, I, I quit drinking Diet Coke, which you folks, I don't even like talking about it. I love Diet Coke so much. Uh, I did have a bottle of Diet Coke this weekend, but... I almost didn't finish it. Actually, I didn't finish it. The rest is in the garbage. It didn't taste good to me anymore. So that's really great. Uh, I have been drinking just my matcha green tea with lemon on those fasting days and then just doing my normal eating and then trying to be done by 8.30, 9.30 um, so that I can start my fast for the next day. So uh, I've been doing just great. Um, uh, now that I'm actually fully in ketosis, and I am, I can feel it, I can taste it. Um, in my uh, first fasting video, my ketones were at 1.8. Man, those ketone strips are so expensive. I'm not going to really, uh, I'm not gonna really do ketones every week. I can tell that I'm in ketosis. So I'm burning fat, I'm ridding that water, I'm working out, I'm doing all of those things. Uh, so uh, I did want to introduce you guys to, I hope, the outfit that I'm going to wear for my pictures. And I purposefully stood in the mirror in my gym uh, because I don't have a lot of space, but I wanted to see, uh, I wanted to give myself some clothes that I could work out in um, and uh, still feel comfortable and then shrink in. Uh, and I also like compression gear. Uh, when I do cardio, I do a lot of uh, hit workouts and I do a lot of uh, like kickboxing which there's a lot of you know it's not low impact and I don't have bad joints or anything so I do high impact so check in the mirror this is what I uh, hopefully these pants will kind of show what my um, what my trouble areas will look like as I get pictures taken and I always promise that you know everybody can get skinnier if they <gasps> 
suck it in real big, you know, I'm not going to do that. So I just kind of wanted to let you know and let you see the outfit um, that I was going to wear from now on for my pictures. So you can kind of see what everything looks like and then see the progress. Um, so what else? Do you guys want to know what I've been eating at all? Comment below if you would. Um, I can, uh, I'm not a big, <laughs> I love to cook. Uh, I make a huge mess in my kitchen when I cook. Uh, I uh, So I never think really to take pictures of what I'm eating, but if it's something that you'd like to see, just let me know and I can start recording some of that. Uh, so a uh, couple of videos that I've got coming. Uh, I've done my uh, three parts of my goal setting, uh, which they'll be linked all over and they're on my channel. Uh, I'm also going to record a what is keto series. And I'm going to do uh, 101, 102, and 103. I really feel like if any of my friends and family are watching, um, excuse me, I've got allergies so bad, you guys. And my nose is running like all over everything. And of course, I didn't tuck a Kleenex anywhere. So uh, just forgive me. Um, so I'm going to do a Keto 101, 102, and 103. The 101 I'm going to do, it's going to be the science behind it. Because you know, I don't know if you've ever been through this. But anytime, you know, you say something like, I'm not going to eat that, people are always like, oh, why aren't you going to eat that? And then you say, I'm a keto diet, and they're like, oh, whatever. So I really think that it's important that you have the knowledge base in the science to talk effectively about what a ketogenic diet is. And then I'm going to talk about the health and be the, the, the benefits that are not related to losing weight. Obviously losing weight is one of them, but I'm going to talk a lot about the autophagy, the, you know, the, your body eating its uh, dead cells, which is going to help with, you know, sucking in once you've lost that weight and make sure that you don't have any loose skin, which is a really important thing for me. I'm going to talk about the energy that you get from it because come on, uh, ketones, if gas is, you know, like mid-grade fuel, ketones are jet fuel. Once you get over that keto flu, and I'm going to talk about that too, you start to feel amazing. And then I'm going to talk about things like recipes, how to put together meals, uh, how to calculate your macros. I personally have used two apps to calculate my app, uh, my. Uh, macros. I've used uh, Fat Secret and I've also used uh, Carb Manager, which is the app I use right now. And then I also use an app called Zero that uh, it helps me um, measure my fasting time. So during uh, in that Keto 103, I'll talk about kind of how to put it in action for you. And I'm going to film them all at once so that you can watch them in tandem and get most of them get most of up get the most you can out of it at the same time. So uh, I definitely feel like today kind of has launched me over feeling that keto flu. Uh, last night I wasn't super tired. As a matter of fact, I had just a little bit of a trouble falling asleep, which was kind of a difference from the day before uh, or the days before where I had, like I was falling asleep standing up. And what that says to me is my body is now burning those ketones. And you'll actually find that when you are in a state of ketosis, you don't need to sleep as much. Um, not that you can't, and not that sleep is a bad thing, because let me tell you folks, I am a sleeper. But if uh, if you don't wanna sleep or you, you only can get six instead of eight one day, you should be fine. Uh, so that's my update for uh, today down about 15 pounds in three weeks. I really think that, you know, that's that 15 pounds of bloat they talk about. So now I'm really hoping to kick it in, get some real good strength training going. Uh, maybe I'm gonna try to go into working out four times a week instead of just the three and then add a, a day on the weekend. Uh, also, uh, I am standing in my gym, uh, which is a third bedroom in my home. Uh, I do work from home full time. I have for the last three and a half years. Uh, so uh, when I purchased my home, I bought a three bedroom home uh, on purpose. Uh, uh, one of my offices is my office. Uh, and then I have my bedroom. And then this room used to be a, um, a spare bedroom that we had like a suite uh, for guests. Well, come to find out people weren't coming to visit, which is part of the reason I need you. And um, I got rid of all of that. And then when COVID hit, I moved my gym from my garage in the house. And I really like this little gym setup. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff in here. If you'd like maybe a, 
uh, a tour of my gym and then kind of what the things are that I do for a workout, let me know. Um, I haven't been doing anything really hardcore, but hopefully as I start to lose a little bit more fat and stuff, maybe you'll be interested in that. Comment anytime and, and I'll record that if you'd like. Uh, so that's my update for a uh, week. I'm going to call this my week two. Um, even though I've been in it three weeks, I'm going to stop talking about that now. And um, thanks for, for clicking in. Uh, the fact that you're here means that I'm blessed beyond measure and lucky just just beyond belief that you're here and I'm so thankful that you found my channel. Do like and subscribe and share and comment on my videos. I'm doing everything I can to get the word out about my channel, but the fact is engagement from you is gonna help that. So I appreciate anything that you can give me to help my channel be found by more people. Uh, so follow me on Instagram and YouTube. I'm Fierce Fit Keto everywhere. And that's also my uh, email address if you've got any questions or need anything. So once again, I'm Heather and thanks for watching. Bye.